Hey Pisces, welcome to your messages. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. I'll leave information for you how to contact me for personal readings in the description box. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, let's see what we have for Pisces. What's the message? Eight of Springs, okay. Stress that comes from having many things happening at once. Successfully multitasking. Sudden events or changes. Um, eight of Wands. So it is, a lot of things are going to start happening now because blockages are being removed from your life. Um, don't let fear hold you back, okay. Um, take on these new challenges. Um, because everything you desire is on the other side of fear. So you are going to get some movement, some communication. Um, it might even be stressful, but you can handle this, right? Because it seems like everything's happening at once now, where before it could have been that you was quite stagnant and waiting and, you know, things are finally going to get moving here. So do go with the flow and you know, even if it seems stressful at times, you can handle this, okay? Um, you've got this. I feel like your life has prepared you for this multitasking that's coming your way here. King of Springs, look at all this fiery energy coming your way. Um, so, a financial windfall, your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter of your cause here. So, you will find some help along the way with these... Um, things that happen in here, these events and changes that are happening in your life. Um, but it says take action, um, be inspired, um, you know, use wise decisions along the way, but be active, go after your wildest dreams here. Princess of Winter, so information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear, speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or adult. Um, the Prince uh, the page of swords that is um that's why she's classed as uh inquisitive realistic truthful and undiplomatic here um so this might be somebody who uh, it's a, somebody communicating now um through i i feel like it's like they feel like they know their truth or you know a truth like haha i caught you cheating and i seen the text messages but it's not having all the information um, so I feel here somebody is probably spying, trying to catch you out in some sort of way, or you could be trying to catch somebody out here. I always tell people, remember, if you seek, you shall find. Okay. Um, and you'll find the truth, but it may be painful to hear. Um, so just be careful about that because it might push somebody to take action um, towards leaving you, ghosting you, running away from you. Um, because at that moment in time, when you find out the truth, you might be hard to speak to. <laughs> um, you might, you know, stick to your ground. But I feel there are messages coming in. You need to be careful how these messages are communicated if it's nothing to do with um, you know, a romantic partner or finding text messages, you need to really be careful on um, the information you receive. May be painful, may be painful, um, but it's going to, the truth shall set you free, right? Okay, two of pentacles. Uh, so some of you might be finding out uh, that you're being juggled here, which leads to you being single. If you're already single, I feel like there's going to be a tough decision for you to make. There's some communication coming in now. Somebody that you've been spying on or they've been spying on you. This um, communication is hard to hear because maybe you've waited such a long time with this earthly energy for this person to come forward and speak or for you to speak to them or have your say, something like that, that it can end up being quite difficult because like your heart says one thing and your head says another so i feel like this is going to be a difficult decision to make here yep the lovers um 
it's difficult because it's like you found out some information but this relationship can be healed uh it, maybe before you wanted to hear that it could be healed and now you don't and this is why it's now difficult to hear um because i almost feel like you don't want to hear this like um it's like okay i just got over them or i just healed from that um, I don't want to go back there. I'm happy and healing because uh, that's what the lover's card is. It's healing, um, you know, on a higher level here. So I feel almost like I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear what you have to say because I'm starting to get back on track. And this is the many things happening at once. This is somebody coming in to tell you something. Okay, I just thought I had all my ducks in a row. I just thought... Um, things were finally starting to get in order and then you come in with this bull <laughs> Ace of Swords, yeah, you come in with this information and it's quite difficult for um, You to hear I Feel like you was always trying to tell them the truth and always knew the truth But then they took so long making up their mind here that you decided to heal and move forward and now they come in and have something to say and want to clear the air and want to say hey I've had a breakthrough but you was like hey you're too late <laughs> I had my breakthrough immediately um so I kind of feel that you know this will be quite heavy on you this information that's coming towards you but it's an opportunity to clear the air it's an opportunity um for you to learn something here aces are about opportunities so we can, I guess, choose not to hear it, but still, there'll still be many things happening and coming your way here. The world card, Queen of Pentacles, could be an earth sign here, um, that you decided to move on from and close that cycle down, and then they come and open the wound that you was trying to heal, that it's like coming and sticking their finger in it again while you've been trying to move forward and think positive and change your life and move away from them because they wasn't coming or making up their mind here um you felt like the cycle was over and then they come back like nothing happened and you're like are you for real i'm working on this self-healing i'm working on nurturing myself growing myself and moving forward with my life and you now want to tell me your version of events because you know, the truth has many faces, right? Um, they want to, I guess, start a new um, cycle with you here because, well, let's see what they're coming forward for. The star, the death card, and the moon. So three major arcana here. They, are, they feel like, okay, um, after they've been through or are about to go through this dark night of the soul they feel like revealing their truths their soul and it's like almost confessing their sins here um before it's like somebody on their deathbed before the trans transformation hey i want to get right with everybody um and it kind of feels like this is healing for them um you know it's like healing their soul here that they need to confess their sins to you or something here um it's like that Usher song, these are my confessions and they may still have more to reveal to you. Um, some of them may have even gave you a water infection. I, <laughs> I'm i whispering to the camera like, you know, um, so <laughs> yeah, that's kind of difficult when somebody ghosts on you and then comes back to say, hey, I've got more stuff to tell you because it more feels like they're trying to put a knife in your back. Um, when you just took out all the knives they put in and, you know, you've been healing. So on, on a major scale as well with the star. So then coming forward with this sword, you're quite wary of this now. Like, what are you doing with that? Are uh, you trying to put it in my back again? Um, you're trying to t convince me that, you know, um, you're not a seven of swords cheater. When I've got seven swords here in my hand, I found the messages here. Um, I feel like it's more an indication or um, saying I love you, um, I did love you, it's a confession of these deep emotions with the moon and um, 
them feeling connected to you um, because the moon is a deep connection here so it's like they're having some sort of epiphany moment and you've already been through this transformation and the dark times and you're trying to move forward and close down that cycle and they want to come forward and interrupt your cycle bring some changes into your life that's what they will do so there's this end to this separation i feel here that's going on um ace of pentacles the tower and ace of wands yeah it's gonna be quite shocking for you um they may have even made a mistake of uh you know passion um and say hey i was committed to you i did want to be with you um but i made this mistake i mean what did you do trip over and fall inside somebody or you know sit on something i don't know <laughs> these sort of mistakes um that people you know accidentally make um but also forgiven here i feel like you're moving past it like it's none of my business it's like you really don't want to hear what they have to say and this is like another tower moment to them because um, they're trying to manifest you into their life with all these aces. They're trying to, they're going to now try and grab every opportunity they can but is it this, you know, too little too late where you've put in so much and I guess the information that you needed, you needed at a certain time. Um, now you might be starting to see more of your value and maybe you're telling them you're not enough for me um, at this time I'm too much for you you're not enough for me I'm rebuilding myself here um, I definitely feel like somebody is trying to move forward so if it's not you trying to move forward and you've just gone through this tower moment um, I feel then what's happening here is the you've just gone through this breakup and found out some secrets and they're moving forward from you and making these aces these offers elsewhere um i guess some of you here might feel destined to be with this person or they are now feeling des destined to be with you um but there's gonna be this truth that you have to face and it's hard before you can rebuild this foundation Right, You can't just put down this pentacle and then stand this tower on top of it because it'll break down this pentacle. You have to let the tower come down. You have to let the truth be known and you have to accept the truth and then start rebuilding this beautiful self of yours. I, I said to Pisces um, last time, it's so difficult going through these things because um, you are being reborn, right? And giving birth's hard to do. So all these difficult things that you are going through, um, these tests, these changes, these um, even opportunities being offered to you but having no interest in them if this breakup has first happened. It's like you're pulling away and moving away from any opportunity or any other romantic offer that's been um, shown to you, you're like, I'm not interested. And this is because this healing needs to occur first here. Um, so I definitely feel either you are going through the dark night of the soul or your person is about to go through it. And before they do, because they feel this fear, they reach out to you and they really want to communicate and they want, it's like, trying to grasp at sh straws because those of you who have got those exes reaching out you are um moving forward in a more positive place with the six of swords here a more nurturing to yourself place right um with the queen of pentacles six of swords um this was a difficult journey but you're getting there you've learned here right you've overcome the tower the healing the transformation um having blind faith with the moon because we can't really see what's coming our way and we have to trust our intuition with the moon uh trust the process and you know trust that we're being guided in the right direction so you had to experience all that in order to um you know embrace the new you and give birth to the new you 
So although it's been very painful and where it started, look where it ends up with the lovers and you being in love with yourself and growing and um, somebody then coming towards you with an ace of pentacles here could be um, a king of springs. But we do have all the signs that generally come out. We have a younger air sign represented. We have Gemini. We have Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius. Um, all represented here but um, don't worry about these things that take us through these challenging times because that's where we grow we don't grow in comfort and first we have to look at what's hurting us what's triggering us what's making us sad and we can't just skip past that right you know when a mother gets pregnant she can't just say okay i've got the baby in my belly and skip past the giving birth part the difficult part no we have to go through the healing and the changes here uh with the death card we have to learn to trust ourselves again and learn to love again here and uh, see our self-worth with the nine of pentacles and then invite a lover into our life okay if we try to invite somebody into our life and we're here coming straight out of a tower moment um, and accept an Ace of Pentacles, we end up bleeding on somebody who didn't cut us, right? So we don't want to do that. This is why we all are seeing this huge awakening where people are not jumping from relationship to relationship anymore. They want to heal themselves first. And the lovers, it brings that healing, right? Um, so whether you are at the beginning or end of this, um, don't worry, you're on this path for a reason. Everything happens for a reason here, guys. It's not happening to you, it's happening for you so that you can go through this transformation and become this Nine of Pentacles. And then you'll have something to offer. Become the person that you want to be with. Okay, guys, good luck.